penalty there. Um, when you do that, you kind of know that you're going to get that penalty. It doesn't matter because you know you're proud of the play you made, or you kind of sometimes when you get flags like that, you wonder what they saw there. Um, I think that was an immature penalty. I didn't realize that I didn't um, that we were going to start on the, the twenty. You know, and I brought my team back to, um, back in our own ten. Um, that was just an immature mistake. Um, you know, it's just something I have to learn from and not to do it again. Thank you, Kyrie. Zach, good Hey, Kyrie. You saw today as well as throughout the year that it seemed against off coverage teams were finding success, particularly with slant routes. Are you guys able to come down and press that, or are you guys specifically having to stay back and play in off coverage against that type of route? Which, which particular player are you talking about? Well, for one, there was the 58-yard touchdown was beaten um, on a slant route. And then the one earlier in the game, it looked like uh, you and a player switched spots, which didn't give you the inside leverage on that slant on what looked to end up being a free play for the score. Yeah, right. Um, so on that, that touchdown I gave up, um, well, I was looking over, the whole defense was looking over for the play. You know, they were going fast. And um, my linebacker called me over because um, the tight end lined up. Uh, out and the wide receiver lined up in, but we were too busy looking for the play, so we didn't we couldn't get lined up, and they just hardly snapped snapped the ball. So um, I had to, you know, I had to try my best to get the ball out, and I didn't. I was supposed to be inside leverage, but you know, I mean, it was just something we had to go faster, you know, getting the call um, to get us lined up. But um, I think, I mean, you just got to play, just trust what the um, what the coach Grantham is uh, telling us to do, and I think. Um, uh, we have to clean that up, if, especially if you know where we want to go. You know, um, SC Championship, National Championship. I think it's something we really have to clean up because I think that's most of the, most of the yards, like you said, came from you know those slants and those bang gates. Thank you, Mark Long. Kair, congrats on the win. Um, you guys have gotten a lot of slack for not being able to close teams out. You did that today, especially with your interception. How good that feeling? Maybe you can walk us through what you saw on that play. Um, it was something I watched on film. Um, all week, you know, when they get in the red zone, they they like to when the slots are on or off, they like to do double move. Um, they try he tried to do a slant and go, and I had my eye, my head back for the ball, you know, made a play. But um, you said what was it? What was it? The well, just closing question? them out. You guys were able. You guys, you know, it didn't start out great, but you were able to close them out in the second half. Um, I I feel like it was good that we closed them out, but I think if we just um come out. With that same energy, you know, we did when we were playing well. Like, I think that they scored way too many points today, honestly. Okay. Yeah, Dan called it kind of a ho hum performance. Did, did it feel like that, or did you feel? I mean, you, he said, but you still walk away with a twenty-one point win. He's smiling. How, how do you evaluate the whole experience, Dan? Um, Coach Mullen tells us all the time, you have to enjoy a win, and win is hard to come by, especially. 10 SEC games, you know, no one's going to lay down. And just because we're high ranked and not not ranked, like, we, we can't expect for them just to lay down and just give us the game. Like, we have to go, like, show what we want to go win. That's to win an SEC championship. In order to do that, we have to dominate the teams we're supposed to and beat the teams that, you know, we're not favored over. So I think that's just something we have to continue to get better on. Um, and, you know, our leadership, I think that starts from practice. You know, even, like, leading up to the game, I feel like, um, we have to do a better job of making sure we actually play like we're going to like we have a national championship game or SEC uh, championship game. So, yeah, I mean, it was what was this road trip like? I mean, the AM one didn't obviously go well, so you guys had more protocols. Was it a lot different and, and more strict and just stranger? Yeah, I think um, it was a lot more, you know. Uh, COVID protocol and keeping us spaced out and things like that. From just trying different things, like uh, the second half, we didn't uh, for the halftime we didn't even go to the locker room. So I think um, you know it was kind of different, you know. But we just have to adjust, um, Coach. Um, I think Coach Grantham. I, I think he says like the team that's able to adjust to all these different things going on, like are, are, is a team that's going to win it all. So you know we just have to be able to adjust and um, be resilient, you know. Thanks, Kyer. Yes, sir. Yeah, Steve. Hey, Kyer. Um, does it feel like the defense kind of just has to get through a slow start to start each game? Has that been the case so far, to your knowledge? And then sort of settle in 
I think I feel like that's what it feels like. But I feel like we should we shouldn't we shouldn't we don't need anything to motivate. We shouldn't need anything to motivate us to start strong. I don't understand like why we we do that. But you know, I, I, it starts in practice. Um, you know, I'm gonna definitely try my best to you know have us to go faster, get the play call faster, and just execute. I feel like we were supposed to dominate today and we didn't. So we have time for one more. Go ahead, Goldie. Yeah, Kyrie, I'm curious. It's two weeks now that uh, Tyron Hopper's come in and seemingly made a pretty big impact. What are you seeing from him, and what does he kind of add to the defense? Um, so I came in with Tyron Hopper. He's learning, um, and with, with the more re you know, more more reps you get, more experience you get, you you get a lot better. You can't just it, football is not just a mental sport. Um, so I think he's getting better at each uh, the more and more reps he gets, and uh, you know I think he's really good. All right, thanks, Kyrie. Thanks for coming. Thanks, in. No problem. Have a good day.